The British government don't want you using these radios. And no, this isn't clickbait, it's very true. And in this instalment, I'll tell you why. But first, let's look at the backstory. In the early 1990s, a type of encryption came into use on certain UK home office radio systems, known as MASK. This is an acronym for Marconi Advanced Scrambler. These radios contain a mask module, which is a small circuit board that could be fitted into handheld radios. Numerous radios could support mask encryption, such as some Philips PRP and PFX models, Motorola HT and MT series radios, and some Kenwood TK models. Mask is effectively a type of band scrambling encryption that basically splits the user's voice into bands of frequencies and then rearranges the order of these bands many times per second. Things get more complex when an encryption key consisting of up to 12 numerical digits is thrown into the mix. This encryption key determines the order in which each portion of the transmission is pieced together. Even if you have a working mask radio, it will not be able to hear another radio unless they're both using the same encryption key. If you monitor mask on a radio scanner, it sounds very much like any other sort of audio scrambling. The majority of the transmission is undecipherable, but you can sometimes pick out the odd syllable or word. Mask also transmits short data bursts each time the PTT is pressed and released. This data burst gives the radio's identification number, which could be decoded by a computer in the control room, which means the radio could be identified before the user speaks. This feature was popular with police officers, as it meant that if they were attacked, they didn't have to waste valuable time giving their call sign, because the user is identified in the control room. Now, this is very similar to some features of modern day police radio systems in the UK. The data burst identification was also useful to identify stolen radios, enabling the control room to instruct the radio to delete its own encryption key and therefore shut it down, making it useless. To stop criminals from transmitting a spoof data burst on police frequencies and stunning an officer just before a robbery, for example, a radio would only stun itself if the base station also transmitted the radio's authentication code as well. Radios with masks can also transmit in clear voice, so they can communicate with radios without masks or ones which have different encryption keys. The data bursts are also audible in clear mode as well. Now, the Home Office and the Association of Chief Police Officers highly regarded MASK and its security benefits, and it went on to be used by nearly all British police forces. The system wasn't rolled out to every radio, but rather special squads such as drug squads, counter-terrorism and surveillance operations. Two exceptions, however, were the Northumbria and Nottinghamshire forces, which equipped every handheld UHF radio with mask. So that's a simple history of mask, but the story doesn't end there. There never was and still is no way of simply decoding or descrambling mask encryption. There have been various rumours going around on the internet for many years, but nothing was ever proven. It was possible to get hold of working radios with mask modules fitted, but even if you did get hold of a mask radio or module, there was still the problem of the encryption key. You can still pick up mask radios today, such as these ones that you've seen in this video, but some radio suppliers and maintenance companies have been under order from the Home Office for many years now to remove and destroy any mask encryption boards from radios they come in contact with. This is because the legacy equipment used by the Home Office to program and run the system is now obsolete, and the government apparently didn't want people using methods of encryption 
that couldn't be monitored after Mask was taken out of service in the early 2000s. Of course, these days the risk is much lower because finding mask radios that work back to back in encryption mode is hard, and obviously our methods of communication as a society have evolved massively since mask systems were shut down.